All right, we are back on Asuka. Uh, last time we got all the coal maker, bloomery. We were building the metal worker, all that kind of stuff. Working towards metal weapons. I think this time we actually get that finished. See if we can finally um, like actually get some metal weapons, metal gear, that kind of stuff. Uh, that way we we're able to better defend ourselves. On the other side as well, I'll also be working on a bit more self-sufficiency so that, you know, food is not really that much of an issue. Did discover that tasks are a thing, so that's good. We can queue tasks. Um, anyway, I'm going to finish the hut because that's the closest thing. Not the hut, the uh, hunter's lodge. And I'll probably actually try and summon a couple more villagers because we're down to four because we had... Uh, one person leave and one person die to starvation. So we'll work on that. I uh, also need to work on security because we are currently defenseless. And if you look at their stats, um, oh, it's just work hours they're unhappy with. Well, how do I change their work hours? Oh. All right, I gave them more, more leisure time. All right, so you can do leisure as well, so you can adjust their work hours. I didn't know that either as well. All right, that is good to know. I'm going to go get some ropes, some more rope. Uh, and then get trucking along with the construction of stuff. Yeah, loads of fiber. All right. Gonna go get that and then get the stuff built. Gertrand and Amelia, alright. Alright. Okay. Thirsty. That was that cool. Yeah. Hey, it was some crazy, crazy hair. Let's get that. Uh, also, the fishing might come in handy. Alright, uh, whoa. Alright. Thought we captured a deer by accident. Uh, I've got enough rope now as well. So let's get this hunter's hut done a little bit more. Crazy because like, there's, there's things that I'm learning as I go that. I kind of wish was explained. Ah, oh, was explained in the intro a bit more. Um, wait, what? I have a hammer. Okay. Uh, that I wish was explained like in the intro a bit more, like around scheduling tasks and all that kind of stuff. Like I feel like there probably could have been a little bit more info for that, but it is what it is. Learn it as you go. Um, I'll put that in the barracks. What's the thing that needs long sticks? Is it this? Metal work, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna get some long sticks in the metal work as well while I'm here. Just because with that, I'll be able to defend everything pretty well then. Let's cut this tree down and get some more long sticks for I got injury for this hunter's hut. I might clear out some of these stumps as well because I'll get some good firewood from it, and then I'll be able to use the firewood in the charcoal kiln for more iron because I'm definitely going to need that. Because the coal, the coal that you get from the kiln is really good as well. You use that in the um. Use that in um, the fire pit, or like the cooking station, and it like fills it up heaps, way more than actual firewood. So that's like definitely one recommendation is with your firewood, don't use it on the uh, campfire. Use it in the kiln, and then use the coal for you know all those kinds of things. But it's good, like. Look, I, like I, I'm saying things like, "Oh, I wish it kind of gave you more info," but there is there is a lot to this game, and I don't think it's really intended to just like you know you jump in once and then that's a one and done. Like, 
you kind of need to learn as you go. But I mean, there's a lot more less forgiving games out there. Like Green Hell's pretty, pretty hardcore. Um, I've played like a lot of games where they just give no instructions at all or information about what it is that you need to do. So really, I'm just, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm nitpicking. There we go. Uh, we have... All right, so we're gonna have to assign someone to it, but we should be able to set tasks and then then we'll go and get it. So that's good. Very good. Uh, all right, next thing I'm gonna do is the, I'll do the metal worker. Ooh, Cause that's the next closest thing. And you know, gets me closer to metal after that I'll do barracks. Um, so I'll get stuck into that. Good man. All right, so she should be off hunting now, which is good. I need to make two more axes because I just realized the guy that I have assigned for cutting down wood doesn't actually have an upgraded axe. He's got the weak one that can't cut down these big trees. So that's why resources have been slow. That's why I need I need to get another person so that they. Oh, that's fun. Uh, I need to get another person so that. What I grab? I need another person so that they can automatically, like I'll just set a task and they'll automatically craft the tools and stuff like that, that everyone will need so that I don't have to worry about it. It's just like we're completely self-sufficient. Things just continuously get made. And then that way when something breaks on them, like I don't have to worry about it. They will just go and grab a new one. He's got this, this old one, so. Swap it out for the better one. All that time he's only got one long stick. Yeah, not ideal. Crap. I'll help him out. We'll get some more. So I, just, I really need to get this done so I can get metal tools. I'm just I'm worried that I'm going to get raided or something. So I just want to try and get some metal tools so that if I do, Fine. Put down another tree, I reckon. This I'm excited for. Yes. So now, oh, skinny knife. Iron draw knife. Breaks beams from logs and long sticks. Okay. Iron axe. But oh, okay, so it's it's actually quite complex. You need to craft the components. Okay. Carpenter. And then leather worker, weaver for that. All right, let's grab this iron ore and then we'll take it over. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, it's not bad. Grab this large rock. Take it over as well for the barracks and then smelt this iron so I can see if I can make any iron gear. If it's an iron weapon or something, it'd be good just so I can kill those wolves a bit easier. And then start working on like, you know, iron tools, axes, pickaxes, stuff like that. Next villager, I reckon I'm going to get them assigned in here. That way if we've got like a constant stream of um, things being made. Do I need to get it like a high temperature? Is that what I need to do? Oh, no, no it's too high. So I need to hold it here. Okay. Oh, that is not good. Where are they? Where are they? What are you guys sitting around just gonna, are you just gonna watch me fight? 
by these things. You not? Oh, they're here. Okay, cool. gone for boom the little yeah cool all right oh I don't have a knife all right, whatever. I want to try and figure this out actually wait I have to put it in the kiln Oh, you're sh I'm stupid. Oh, okay. So obviously we'll need to keep topping it up. Ah, so dumb. Okay, composition 812. I guess I'll just burn through it. And now it's got. Oh, man. Alright. Note to self, I'm an idiot. But I already knew that. It takes a while to get it up to temp. Come on. I wonder if it's like the rain is affecting that. Come on. Get up. Jeez. I'm struggling to keep it. Maybe I have too much. Um, iron in there. Maybe I need more. Let's take that out and do this. See if that works. Maybe I need more coal. I don't know. The guide said use a high coal to iron ratio, so. I learned today. Yeah, I needed, yeah, I needed more coal. Okay, that's cool. So five iron is like a good number. Oh, sweet. There we go. Remove blue. Ah, cool. All right. No one's inspect it again just keep this stuff clear those three go in cool all right so that's the right ratio uh hit with hammer ouch splinter oh jeez okay there's quite a bit it's like that goes into this Well, I've got to rotate it and everything. Uh, cool. And bloom. Sweet. So I now have an iron bloom. Okay, so I need to... Right. What do I want to make? I probably should have thought about that beforehand. Um, 
A uh, crude iron axe, maybe? Large crude iron axe? Crude iron pickaxe, maybe? I can't because I need a carpenter for that. I need a carpenter for pretty much everything. So I guess I'll make the iron axe head. I'll just make a bunch of them. Small iron axe head. Begin. Wait, I'm only going to get one from this. Oh, sensor quenching. Okay. Now I just need a stick. And now I have a crude iron axe. That is nuts if that's the process. That's crazy. What's the durability? 400. 280. Dude, that's crazy how much. That's a lot of effort. I mean, definitely. And I'm probably thinking in my head right now as well. It's de like the dependency. Like it's, it's definitely required that you just like have your villagers do it. Like you're not actually supposed to do it. I've done hardwood now, but that's nuts. Like how much goes into that? That is crazy. All right. I need to start summoning some more villagers uh, and make some more cottages because there is no way I'm doing that. That's nuts. All right. I don't know. You know, this is like is into this it's not straightforward one single bit and i reckon it's gonna scare a lot of people away with how complex it is like it's not yeah this game isn't straightforward at all All right, let's, let's fight this wolf with my ax. I wanna see if I can actually do more damage. Come on. Missed. Oh. Actually does quite a bit of damage. Oh. There we go. Alright, so the axe actually does do quite a bit of damage. That's good at least. Oh, I need a knife. Damn it. So that's quite good. It does it does do a lot of damage, but it's um to get it is crazy. Get some good meat from it. I want to see how many wolves I can kill. If I can kill the wolves, it makes at least it makes the area a bit safer and I can expand out a little bit more, which would be nicer. Because at the moment, they're a bit of a limitation. There you go. Meat hunk. All right. I don't know what a meat hunk is. Can I not cook a meat hunk? Well, how do I cook a meat hunk? What's going on? Oh, I can harvest the meat hunk. All right. Wait. Oh, actually, I can give you arrows. Stop waving at me. I'm going to go get the other meat hunk. Oh, she's grabbing the meat hunk. 
what you do with the mate hunk. Why are you following me with the mate hunk? Where are you going? Where the hell are you going? What? Okay. Are you going to pick those up now? Nice. They should cook that now, which would be good. I don't know why you ran around that way. Makes no sense whatsoever. All right. Let's go see if I can kill another wolf. I'm feeling violent. Actually, I should. Let's see, is there any loot here? Whoa! Whoa! Come on. Damn it. I need to try and get like one of them separate. I wonder what happens when I take out the uh, wolf den. Are they all just, do they all just rush me? This is not ideal. I need the other two to leave so I can just focus on that one. Come here. Stop running. All right. Maybe I need to like wait in the outskirts. I've had a nap. I'm going back for round two. Come here, wolf. I see you. Wait, where are you running? Another one. Press some more. There's another one over there. Is that the last one? No, there's another one down there. Stagger it. Yes. Come on then. Whoop. Nah, I dove. What are you talking about? And then the yellow must be like the stun bar or something. All right, cool. We got the walls. Durability is actually really good. Let's take out this um, spawner. I think, I think it's a spawner. Must be a spawner. Is that it? That's it? I guess. Oh, there's another one. I didn't realize there was another one. <laughs> That is not what I thought was going to happen. 
Whoa! Oh, okay, I'm not, and I'm not, I'm not, uh, rolling, which is annoying. Bro, roll! I don't really want to fight this. Ah! Oh, I'm about to die. Oops. Yep. Where the hell did it say that was going to happen? What is a ghost? Harvest a villager's soul to regain your humanity. And the boss is still there. Wait, I have to kill one of my villagers? Are you serious? <laughs> All right, so now I'm stuck with a boss. Is he just going to be chilling there now? Is that what's going to happen? Oh, he is. And he regens his health. Cool. Not dealing with that. All right. No, don't tell me he's going to chase me. Dude, I've left your zone. Oh, man. So I killed the wolves thinking that was going to make life a little bit easier. And instead, all I did was summon the wolf god. And I killed a villager. Ugh. Uh, I'm going to call it there because that's depressing as hell. Um, I don't know. Look, I enjoy the game, but I don't know, it's still very early access. And I feel like there might need to be like difficulty sliders or something like that for like first time playthroughs. Because, I mean, I'm figuring everything out as I go and it's just like a mess. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It, yeah. I don't know. I'm undecided. I might wait until more of the game has come out to revisit it uh because there is a lot involved in it or i might just look into a little bit more and just do a little bit more research it's definitely a game that you want to research what you want to be doing in the game or how it works before playing it otherwise you're just gonna just a roller coaster of it of emotions and stuff like that so yeah oh i couldn't move a little that's depressing uh but yeah my personal recommendation would definitely be watch other people play the game or check out like how the actually actual game works uh because it's yeah it's quite complex like there's well, i wouldn't say complex just there's it's involved it's very involved and if you're not ready for it or prepared you know you just you're gonna have a rough time so yeah i don't know i might wait until more of it comes out to revisit this game maybe when it comes out of early access but we'll say, I don't know. But let me know if you want me to keep playing it. For now, I might wait until it comes out in full access. Yeah, we'll say. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.